Good morning, everyone. How are you? It is Lori, and I am here to do your general reading for you. Hope everyone is happy, healthy, and having some fun. Let's start by ringing the large chimes. It's going to be loud. Let's protect our ears. Three, two, one. Let's invite in some light and fun energy with the smaller chimes. And Libras, my lovely, lovely Libras, you have just rolled Cancer, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius energies on the Zodiac die. All right, let's get right into your reading and see what Spirit has for you today in your general reading. Let's see what the overall energy is going to be. Oh, the Six of Cups. We have feelings of nostalgia, feelings of feeling like a child again. So somebody here, <clears throat> some of you are out exploring, doing things that you may not have done in many, many years. <laughs> yeah, back to when you were a child, teen, early 20s. So you're really looking back, reminiscing, feeling, enjoying, doing these things again. This is not just about sitting around and thinking about it. It feels like you have um, started doing this again. This is beautiful, but some of you are, you know, just remembering the good times, the fun times, the easy times. There could have been a loss here and you're remembering the fun you had with this person the good fond memories this loss does not feel unexpected it could be but it, it for most of you it feels like something that was expected to happen all right so you're focusing on memories <clears throat> what else have we got here temperance Keeping yourself balanced. Praying. <clears throat> Seeking peace. Looking for a way to... Oh, I don't know. Um, how to move from this energy into coming back to this energy it's almost like you want to return to where you were but you're kind of in an in, in between place and you're not quite sure how to get to where you want to be all right so there's some sort of healing here there's some sort of transition i am being told by spirit that things will be better you know once you get out of this transitional phase I am feeling like you may have lost a pet. Yeah, there, there's a feeling of loss. I'm getting the rainbow bridge here, and we usually refer to that um, as passing on. So something has ended here. Or it has ended in the past, and you're remembering the good times of this um, before this thing passed. So it doesn't have to have happened just recently. I, I keep getting deep nostalgia here. All right, let's see what else we've got going on. Two of Wands, a decision to make. Maybe being at a crossroads and really uncertain which way to go. You can't see clearly. You know the whole world is available to you, but you can't see it right now. Some of you are kind of too stuck in this past energy. And, you know, sometimes you just have to deal with those emotions, those feelings, the situation before you can move on. So don't rush yourself here. King of Cups, yeah, you've got a lot of deep emotions going on. What is happening here? Libras. A lot of deep emotions. You're not showing it on the surface. Um, people may think that everything's peachy keen, that nothing has happened. I wouldn't be that stoic, okay? I mean, you know, it's good to um, 
not burden people with our problems, but if somebody asks you how you're doing and they are somebody that you like, respect, and they respect you too, be honest with them if you're going through something. If you've got a lot of emotions about something, share that. Deal with those emotions, whatever the situation is. You, you, There are emotions, deep, deep, deep emotions that need to be shared or dealt with. Whether you share them with someone else or you just deal with them on your own. All right, let's see what else is coming out here. Yeah, see, you're keeping this to yourself. Um, Libras, please don't do that. That's going to build fear. That's going to fuel your negative energy. If you can open up and admit about how you feel and face those fears, you will be able to move on. Um, and, and it doesn't have to be fear. It can be despondency that you're fueling. We have to deal with our emotions. Yeah, this is feeling like you, you've gone beyond stuck in your head to... Fueling your fears, feel, fueling your despondency, fueling your um, despair, sadness, grief. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Deal with your emotions, how you're feeling. Look at them honestly. All right, let's see what else Spirit has here for you. There you go. Three of Wands, you do get go from the Two of Wands to the Three of Wands. So that's expansion, that's growth, that's understanding. You're looking towards the future. You don't want to stay in this energy. You want to deal with the emotions and figure out where you're going to go from here. All right, good, 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 good. I'm so happy that you will be able to keep an eye on the future. Even if you don't actively do anything, okay, you don't have to necessarily do something but you've got an eye towards the future you're not staying in the stoic oh i can you know just continue with this energy okay there you go the lovers you do come back into alignment you are divinely protected look you've got an angel here and an angel here there is divine protection here divine guidance oh Again, this could be, you know, hope, figuring out what to do in the future without something that mattered so deeply to you. But I do hear alignment, getting yourself back on track um, with yourself, your higher power. Feeling connections, feeling the connections. Okay, yes, that's important. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Queen of Wands. This is interesting. I'm, I'm hearing a soft approach to a new passion, a new desire. I don't know what a soft approach is. But I am hearing Four of Wands here. So there could be somebody around you who helps you to transition through some emotions here. A soft approach, which is not what I would say from an Aries energy or a fire sign energy, but they can be very subtle. They can be very behind the scenes type energies. Most people don't realize that because when they when a fire sign goes behind the scenes, nobody knows it. It's there and you're being propelled forward and you have no idea where all this good fortune, good luck came from. You might have an Aries backing you up. Or a fire sign, I should say. All right, so there is something about you achieving something. Maybe this uh, Queen of Wands is a supporting character here. Somebody who's got a lot of passion, desire, drive. That helps you to... Pro it's a soft approach is what I keep hearing. A soft approach to helping, to guiding, to healing to balance. Okay, you got the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Look at this. Your destiny is about to change. Your future is about to change. 
good things are coming to you because you're focused in the right direction on the right energies. You have some sort of support here. I'm hearing you're you're moving with the seasons. You're you're dealing with the emotions. You're dealing with whatever comes up and you're moving through the cycles. Okay, so I did just hear the cycle of grief, the cycle of loss, um, the cycle of life. So there's definitely, this could be a loss of innocence back here too, I just heard for some of you. So take the message as it resonates, okay? You do not know where the future is going to go, but right here, Spirit is saying with this particular two of swords, smoother. Okay, it's time for you to reflect. Right now is your time to reflect. Deal with your emotions. Sit back. Don't force anything. When spirit tells you it's time to move, when it's time for you to progress forward, you will do just that. You will put your burdens down. You'll take your lessons and move forward. Okay, you'll go home. I hear you'll be heading home. Look at that. Right behind the two of swords is the justice. And the tower. All right, so there is letting go. There will be um, definitely, there could be some uh, difficult times ahead. This is a supporting character in those difficult times. Count on this person around you, male or female. Somebody is around to help support you. And if you don't have a physical person, this means that your guardian angels, your spirit guides, your elevated ancestors, your God is here to help you get through. Okay? So you do have the support in one fashion or another. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this message. Let's go ahead and see what else is happening here. All right, spirit, what can you tell us about the temperance energy here? Got the Ten of Pentacles, and we've got the, oh, the Seven of Swords in reverse. And Spirit is saying to take that in reverse. All right, so there was some sort of strategy plan, something that uh, maybe was supposed to happen in the past, did not, but things continued on. You've built a beautiful life. Yes, yeah, see, this feels like a loss from a... Uh, a long time ago. It doesn't feel very fresh. It, it can be for some of you, but there was a plan. There was something in place. Maybe you have information, a secret, uh, and you're having to balance that out now. Like you don't know what to do with it, but you're, you know you need to kind of keep this to yourself. But I'm also hearing that there was a strategy, a plan for the future. And now that's not going to happen. Unexpectedly, something came in here and took away your, your happiness. They were called. They were called to move on. All right, let's go ahead and see what this Two of Wands energy is here for you. This is a different reading. I don't I've never had one like this before. The high priestess here for the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're uncertain. You're really uncertain, but you, if you trust your intuition to guide you, you will know when it's time to move forward, okay? There's something about seeing behind the veil, communicating with passed on loved ones. All right, let's go ahead and see what the King of Cups has here for you. What is going on here with the King of Cups, please, Spirit? If you have suffered a loss recently or in the past, I, I, I'm my heart goes out to you. I don't feel massive grief here. This doesn't feel like a fresh passing on. This feels more like a loss of innocence, a loss of an ideal, um, loss of an opportunity, loss of the way we view the world, okay? I mean, it's still potent. It's still got a lot of deep emotions, but I'm not... I don't know how to explain this. All right. What have we got here? Clarifying. Yeah, see, there's a death here. The King of Cups is being clarified by the death card. So and there is an ending here. 
It's definitely emotional. You're dealing with a lot of deep emotions here. You're putting on a brave face. You're moving forward. Um, you're letting go, okay? You are moving on. Let's see what the Nine of Swords says here for you. I, I'm hearing the passing of an era, the ending of an era, the passing of an icon, an ideal. All right, let's clarify this Nine of Swords energy here, please. I just heard something came full circle. All right, what have we got here with the Nine of Swords? Please, Spirit, look at that. Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands. You're no longer, you're not going to sit in this negative energy of the Nine of Swords. You've got the Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands, okay? Clarifying the Nine of Swords. Spirit is telling me that you are not going to get stuck in this um, fueling of your fears. You're going to keep an eye on your, your goals. Okay. You're not giving up on your dreams is what I'm hearing. You are not going to give up. You're not going to play the victim. You are going to focus on your, um, future. Yeah. You are not going to fuel your fears. You're not going to hold yourself back. You're focused on the future here. Four of Wands. Okay, we. I said with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands next to it, Four of Wands. So there is this energy of moving forward, moving through, dealing with though, okay? Not feeling like a victim. A victim does not deal with their emotions. They allow themselves to believe that other people are at fault, that it's nothing to do with how they feel, think, or whatever. But with this Nine of Wands in reverse, over the Nine of Swords, it's telling me you're releasing, you're letting go, you're not holding, you're not um, fueling your fears, you're not um, holding yourself back here, okay? You're focusing on your future, your dreams, your happy home, your happy life, your goal. You got an eye on the long term versus the instant, Okay, or, or being like held back here, holding yourself back. All right, let's look at the three of wands. So that's really good energy there for you guys. You're dealing with your emotions. You're facing your fears. You're more focused on what you have still left in front of you, the positive things that you can look forward to, the new belief system, the new era, okay? The new future. All right, let's look at the three of wands here. But this is about dealing with those emotions. Look at that. This is exactly what Spear wanted to say. This is deep, deep emotions. But your cup is overflowing. Your heart is overflowing. You're open. You're not closing yourself off. This is not the four of pentacles. This is you opening your heart up, opening your vision up. Opening yourself up to your connection with your higher power, with your community. You're definitely looking towards your future here, okay? You're living in the present moment, but you are keeping an eye on the future. Here's the present moment. You're out there looking, but you're not forcing anything. You're not doing anything. You've made up your mind where you want to go, and you're just going to hold firm until spirit brings your manifestation. Look at this. You've got the star card on the bottom of the deck. Healing. Hope for the future. Yes, you are feeling vulnerable. You're feeling raw. You're feeling um, pain, suffering. But look, with the temperance card and the star card, you have that alchemical, um, magical uh, transition happening here. So you know that this is not going to last forever. These negative energies, these difficult emotions, you're dealing with them. You're moving on. Look at that. Two of Wands. You've made a decision to have a fresh start. From the Star card, you made the decision to heal and to have that fresh, solid foundation for the future that Spirit is offering you. Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here. This is incredible. With a star card, oh my gosh, Libras, you're moving 
forward in the appropriate time, the appropriate way. You're dealing with things uh, effectively. Look at that, the Hierophant, the lovers. Okay, so some of you, this could be about a commitment, um, a marriage, uh, um, a belief system. The Hierophant clarifying the lovers here. Getting an alignment, a spiritual awakening here. Elevation, seeing things in a different manner. I'm also hearing counseling, um, doing things to elevate, doing things to ab abbreviate. I don't know what that means. But the Hierophant can represent um, institutions. And I'm hearing something about counseling. Um Aid, A-I-D, I don't know. All right, and you've got the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, okay, there's a new start here. You do find answers. Look, you have the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Cups, all right? Nine of Swords here to the um, Nine of Wands here. So you've got nines all over. This tells me you're releasing you're letting go, and this is actually helping to bring in um, a feeling of peace, accomplishment, starting to feel okay with the way things are, because now you go from the Nine of Cups with a Page of Cups to Ten of Cups. You're starting to see the, the hope, the happiness, the abundance. Oh, you're starting to recall the grand, you know, your gratitude, your, your lessons. Okay, you're seeing now a clear path to follow with that hermit card there. Yeah, you're finding a way to stand up and move forward. You've got a new drive, new passion. Eight of Wands communicating. I have Seven of Wands plus the Ace of Wands. I am hearing communicating, counseling, uh, speaking, journaling, getting clear on what it is you're feeling, starting to feel passionate again. Starting to feel alive, like the a fire burning in your belly. And I'm getting strongly. You do have someone around you that's helping you with that. <clears throat> to refocus your energy, to redirect your energy. There's the four of pentacles, okay? And this came out in the reverse. This queen of wands energy, male or female, is helping you to get unstuck. Helping you, look. Helping you to see things from a different perspective and get unstuck. Moving forward quickly here. Quickly here with that Knight of Wands. The Hanged Man to the Knight of Wands and to the Fool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You are ready to start a new journey here. This is coming your way. That's why this Wheel of Fortune is here. Oh my goodness. This is huge, Libras. This is huge. Wherever... Whoever, whatever energy this Queen of Wands is, oh my gosh, they really, really help you to see things differently. Move forward, move on. Oh, this is going to be very good for you. You're going to feel lighter. New journey is going to start. Some of you may be moving. Some of you may be traveling. All of you are going to be trying something new and different, okay? Something new and different. Unexpectedly, too, I'm hearing. All right, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune here and see what else we've got. Two of Swords, we saw that. Was it? Yeah. Two of Swords, not certain about what's coming, but you're not going to force anything. You're surrendering up control. And what I'm hearing here is you're waiting for guidance. You know there's some, some turbulence around you, but you're not interacting with that turbulence. You're not interacting with that chaos. You're not interacting with that particular energy. So this could be something else, like another person, somebody else that's going, you know, something else that's going on. You may not even be aware of it but you're not dealing with it. Here, you're surrendering control of everything up to spirit at this point. 
You're saying, I am waiting for you to sh give me guidance. Okay, I will wait here patiently until you do. And look at this. You are going to wait there patiently until you receive the guidance. You've got temperance at the start of your reading. You've got temperance here at the end of your reading. Somebody around you may make a decision that ends... See, I feel like this is a different situation. There's something going on behind the scenes that you do not know about. And it comes all the way back full circle. Six of Cups here. Ooh, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Page of Wands. And look, there you are, Justice and the Chariot. Interesting. All right, so there's something else that you don't know about. It's unforeseen, but it does change your future. And it so that sounds like it's good for you. This definitely is a new outlook, a new way of think, doing things. You're going to be trying something new here. All right, so stay uh, positive. Oh, yeah, look, you've got the two swords here and here. All right, stay positive, stay confident, stay just relax is what I'm hearing. Go with the flow. Uh, focus on yourself. Making sure you're eating well. Taking care of yourself. Saying positive things to yourself. Are you going to feel positive every minute of every day? Absolutely not. Nobody is going to feel that way. If they do, they're lying. You can't feel positive 100% of the time. But... When you feel yourself slipping or transitioning or moving from positive to negative, just breathe. Just acknowledge what you're feeling. Okay, that's how you deal with those energies. And know that you have support coming to you. You may or may not know this person. All right, we're going to get you a couple of oracle messages here. What does your spirit want you to know right now? Don't forget to tickle tap, boop or zap that like button. Go ahead and click on that. If you've enjoyed this message, if this has resonated with you, if you know somebody going through this, you can always uh, claim this in the comments. All right, let's see what we've got here. Silence. I am serene no matter what is occurring around me. That is that King of Cups energy right there. Now, you, there is a difference between... Being serene, which is the temperate uh, energy here, okay, and the king of cups, and not dealing with your emotions, okay? So make sure that in your silence, that you're not keeping your silence to the point where you're not acknowledging your emotions. You have to deal with your emotions. And fulfillment, joy abounds in all areas of your life. I want to... Uh, Spirit is telling me to read you the silence. The meaning of this card is to be still and take the time to move into the silent place within yourself. Locate your internal source of power. Your soul wants you to know that in silence you will find your sacred witness. It's the dwelling place of your soul. Your spirit loves the truth and in peace you can seek and discover your truth. If you are in pain... Go into it until you find the source so it can be healed. This is about dealing with your emotions, okay? Move past the bustle and chatter of life into a sweet quietness and surrender to the stillness. Trust the universe, okay? Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of overwhelm, urgency, emergency, sadness, grief, disappointment, your power is born in silence, solitude, meditation. Go ahead and seek some solitude so that you can listen to the voice of your higher self, your higher power, your guardian angels, your elevated ancestors. And that in turn will awaken your inner wisdom. This peace gives birth to your serenity. Okay, so that's where you will find your temperate energy, your tolerance your ability to be in two energies at the same time. All right, let's see what else we've got here for you. 
Oh, fulfillment. That is kind of, uh, I wasn't going to do this. Uh, let's see. Deep meditation and emotional contentment will be unfolding in your life. Soon you will be reaping inner and outer riches and opportunities. So honor your success and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, so there is something about focusing on your future here. Your soul wants you to know that fulfillment comes from the completion of your efforts. We did see that nine of cups. You planted the seeds, you nurtured and cared for them, and now it's time to harvest the rewards. If you harbor, okay, no, that's not for you. Remember this. Who you are is good enough. The secret of fulfillment is to practice positive thoughts because they connect you to your soul. From an attitude of joy and gratitude, your desires can be fulfilled. Okay, so remember Spirit was saying something about you being grateful for what you do have. You being able to see the benefits even through the loss, even through the grief you see and are thankful for your blessings. All right, we're going to get you one more oracle message here. Then we will finish with the yes or no answers. Okay, card 39, uncover answers and integrity. There's something about answers and integrity. And we have healing, nine, okay? So cleansing, hydrating, dissolving, and purifying. So this is, again, about you healing, letting go. Um, but not only uh, your emotions, but making sure you're taking care of yourself. You're taking showers, you're eating right, you're drinking plenty of water, you're getting out and walking or connecting with nature. This is very important for you right now. Um Let's see what 39 has for you. I don't think we've seen this card before, have we, Libras? I'll know once I start reading this. Yellow Jasper is the crystal associated with this card. It looks like a revelation is about to be discovered. Keep in mind the bigger picture. The woodpecker is a resourceful and adept problem solver. The woodpecker may be an excellent totem to consult when important decisions need to be made, as he can show you how to balance intuition and intellect. Oh my gosh, that's important. <clears throat> Queen of Wands represents your intuition here, trusting your intuition. And uh, you had the King of Swords here somewhere. All right, you can communicate very directly with a woodpecker totem. He is straightforward and to the point. On the other hand, an unassuming to toadstool totem should not be overlooked, as it will most definitely wait for you to ask the question, a little like the caterpillar in Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, see what tools you can uncover to help you on the path to a balanced response. Perhaps a pendu pendulum dowser or a piece of yellow jasper, which is a wonderful stone to help in decision making. There may be some news to contemplate on the horizon involving a small but important decision, okay, where you're going to have to sit back, uh, to make in a matter of integrity in its revelation. I'm pausing because I'm remembering that Queen of Swords in the reverse. There may be some news to contemplate on the horizon involving a small but important decision to make and a matter of integrity in its answer. Ponder the bigger picture and be mindful of those who are involved. Go within yourself and use your own mental resources before taking any action. All right. Okay. Interesting. I feel like that was, I was speaking directly to somebody out there. Spirit was speaking directly to somebody out there. So I'm, I know you got that message. I know you heard that message. All right. We're going to get you three yes or no answers here.
If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. I will send you all the details. My email address is in the uh, description box below every single video or on my channel about page. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. We have an awesome community here of very supportive Libras and cross watchers, and we would love to have you join us. All right. Let's see what Spirit has here in your yes or no answers. Your first answer is a no. A whirlwind of intoxicating emotions are overwhelming you. This is a natural result of your efforts, your talents for communication, and your ability to resolve any problem. This provides you with an untouchable sense of stability and comfort. Wow, that was important. All right, your second yes or no answer is a yes. There will be a wave of serenity, full of joy and charm. An unexpected chain of events tumbles out in front of you. You are forced to open up more than you usually do and simply trust in your instincts, okay? Peacefully accept yourself as you are and everything will happen as it's meant to. Wow, this is just crazy. Uh, confirmation here? I don't know. Whew, I feel very deep right now. Okay, so your last yes or no answer is a no. A time of quiet and peaceful change. Some events and people will fade into the background, making room for more progressive and exciting circumstances. Changes gently are knocking at your door, inviting luck to enter your ever-changing life. This is just like too eerie. I'm feeling very eerie. Very like somebody out there knows that this message is so specifically for them. All right, I am going to leave this here until our energy crosses again. I'm wishing you much peace.